Hello, I'm Matt Arndt. Today I want to walk you through the steps on how to operate your heating, air conditioning, and ventilation controls through the in-command system, through the DC, or through the phone app. Let's take a look. From the main screen of either the DC or app, select the HVAC icon. Each roof AC is designated a zone, and each zone is controlled from the in-command DC or app. Before we review how to customize a zone, let's cover two important points about these systems. First, only the features that are available for each zone will display icons on the screen. Second, there are two temperatures displayed for each zone. You can find the desired temperature of the zone under set, and the current ambient temperature of a zone is under zone. Now let's choose a zone to work with. Use the arrows to select the zone you wish to control. If you just want to circulate the air in the trailer, press mode to switch to fan only, and press the fan icon to choose the desired fan speed. This will run continuously until you change it or turn it off. If equipped, power vent fans can be opened, closed, and the fan speed can be selected from the in-command app or DC. Under vent, press vent to open or close, then select the desired fan speed. Next, we will go over setting desired temperatures. Press mode and switch to cool. Use the up and down arrows on the DC or the slide bar of the app to set the desired temperature. Then press the fan icon to choose your fan speed. It's important to note, if open, the power vent fan will automatically close when the AC in that zone is turned on to cool. All of our trailers come with a furnace that's fueled by propane gas. The gas heat icon will show on the DC or app under the zone where it is installed in your unit. Even though it only shows in one zone, it will heat your entire RV. Press mode to switch to heat, set the desired temp and choose your fan speed. If your trailer is equipped with an optional heat strip or heat pumps, they are located in the interior shroud of the roof AC. On the DC or app, you will be able to switch the heat source from gas to electric by pressing the source icon so it shows electric. It's important to note that the AC fan is required when using the electric heat source. The fan is used to move the heated air. Turning the AC fan off will not be an option. Last, let's talk about auto. Auto mode utilizes both AC and heat. If a zone only has AC and no heat source, auto will not be available for that zone. In auto, the system automatically switches between the cool and heat modes to reach the desired set temperature. So select a zone that supports both AC and heat. Press mode to select auto and then choose the heat source. Set the desired temperature and fan speed. Keep in mind in a zone that supports both gas and electric heat sources, electric will run first. If the desired temperature cannot be met with electric, in 30 to 60 minutes, gas will then activate automatically. And that's it. Now it's time for you to customize the zones in your unit. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more operational and DIY videos.